And so there are some competitors out there. Um, they're really not competitors. The, the most um, popular workstation for Hermel for many, many years was the one Dr. Crendel created at, at Cineron in Candela, which was the Gentlemax Pro. In this region, there are a few companies that have you know, a Soprano or they have this and that device. This one has high fluence diode, Alex diode, YAG. And you can do duo dark and duo light. Now, if we look at her legs, just zoom in on the legs here. Number one, uh, she obviously takes care of her skin and her nails. Nice pedicure, a little bit of hallux valgus. You're starting to, you're wedging those feet into high heels a lot, aren't you? You got to be cautious. They're gonna, they're gonna drift on you. Now, you did some hair removal on your legs in the last three months. No. Never. And you look like skin type three, light four, um, Mediterranean. What's your background? Uh, half Mexican. Half Mexican. Which half? My mom. Lower legs, right? Yes. Okay. And so the point is, is that when she goes in the sun, poof, she tans quickly. She probably burns if it's the first time, you know, in the bright sun. But you know, with a little bit of base, you tan. And so you got a bit of a tan right now, don't you? Yes. Or is that, yes? How long ago? So very important, you'll wanna ask, have you been in the sun? Have you had a recent UTI or doctor give you an antibiotic because you're now photosensitized? Um, have, you, um, have you been walking? She says, no, I don't tan, I don't go in the sun, but she just walked four hours. Or, yeah, I don't tan, but she plays golf with a short skirt or tennis. So don't say, have you been tanning? Because no one's gonna admit that. It's like, do you smoke weed? No, 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 no but I have THC, so you've got to ask the right question. Have you been outdoors with shorts on in the last two weeks? And be very cautious, because she's gonna be photosensitized. And we don't want to have a bunch of welts and a burn and hypopigmentation and complication. So you gotta ask those questions before a photofacial bar hair removal. So automatically, I would not do duo light. On her, I do duo dark and be conservative. And so I do the same technique, though. I do a glide and slide, low energy, um, high speed, broken into quadrants. So if we had a tongue, um, an eyebrow liner here somewhere. Often there's an eyebrow liner, but Sharon has gone to recover. Here it is. And so I would, I would probably get yourself a white one, but we'll use a darker one. And then we can see the leg here. We divide it down the middle. And this is a good look if you're going out tonight. There we go. And then we divide it in quarters. And typically, we do low uh, fluence, high speed, five passes. Low fluence, high speed, five passes. And you will smell some uh, photocoagulation. That's sign number one. Number two, carbonaceous discharge in the gel. Number three, paraphilic and erythema. Number four, easy extractability. Those are the signs you've got enough energy. And so we'll do the, the glide and then the slide, which is higher fluence, shorter pulse, higher energy um, treatment. So typically we do the glide and then the slide. A lower leg takes maybe 12 minutes to do. And so why don't we do low energy, duo dark, rather than when she's not tan, would be duo light. So Jim, walk us through your approach to glide and slide. Let's go off the machine first, if you can. 